Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking. It's 2018, Haley. Why the heck are you talking about this theory? Well, here at Cartoon Universe, we try to explore many possibilities, even if we don't always believe that they are the definitive truth. With that being said, today let's revisit the theory that Rose is Pink Diamond. Okay, just hear me out. There's a bit more to talk about now with the introduction of Pink Diamond, and I still think this is a fun topic, since there is evidence. Even though my opinion on this theory sees it as unlikely to happen, I'm going to talk about this in a viewpoint that sees it as true until towards the end of the video where I give some other counter evidence. So let's take a look at this new diamond, shall we? From the few seconds of actual footage of Pink Diamond that we got, she appears quite childlike. She even has frills near her legs that reminds me of a tutu. She appears young and inexperienced, very different from what many of us were expecting. This argument rose out of the ashes not completely because of how this diamond looks. While there is something about her that I will point out later, it mainly has to do with the fact that we got to see her at all in the first place, and it wasn't through another character telling Steven a story. It was, as everyone saw that watched Jungle Moon, that Stevani was able to have a dream that also functioned as a flashback. Connie's mother doubled as Yellow Diamond, and the one playing Pink Diamond was none other than Stevani. This happened to work really well, and gives a good picture of how the relationship between these two diamonds was. But as we know, Stevani is a fusion between a human and a rose quartz gem. So to see that Stevani, who is technically a rose quartz, take on the role of Pink Diamond in this dream is quite interesting. And thinking about the implications of rose quartz being Pink Diamond in some ways gives a good explanation as to why Stevani was even able to see this dream at all. What we saw with Blue Diamond and Malachite wasn't like this. This was something quite different, as I mentioned in a previous theory video. If Rose Quartz had this connection to Pink Diamond, then it is a lot more plausible that Stevani was able to have this sort of dream and see a character that neither Connie nor Steven have ever met. This brings up the question if there was possibly another way for Steven to see Rose's memories, or if this was a sign that she possibly could. But the thing is, Rose Quartz was not there in the flashback scene, only Pink and Yellow Diamond were there. So unless just being in the Diamond Base was enough to cause this dream, one other possibility I went over was that Steven has a bigger connection to Pink Diamond than he knows, and with that is always the chance that he is in fact Pink Diamond. I didn't mention this in the previous Pink Diamond video of mine, since I was saving it for this one. We shall see if the show ever gets around to explaining that, or if it was just a bit of a new type of Steven's dreaming powers that replaced diamonds with humans for the most part because Connie was there. So as I mentioned before, the whole Stevani playing Pink Diamond's role made a lot of people start thinking about this theory again. There's actually a few more new things to point out based on Pink Diamond's physical appearance. First off is her color scheme. I saw a few talk about this, although the first one I saw was Anglo-Saxon Brat on Tumblr. So, does her coloration seem familiar to you guys at all? No? Maybe? Okay. How about now? Yep, both Lion and Lars, two resurrected beings, have the same color scheme as Pink Diamond. This could just be due to the fact that Rose Quartz gems were created by Pink Diamond, so it's another way to showcase this. Or it could be a coincidence, and this combination of two pinks just looks really nice. But I wouldn't put it past the crew to do something like this, especially when it comes to color schemes. This could even lead to the possibility that she was already revived in some way at that time, as her gem points upward unlike the other diamonds, so maybe she had already been resurrected prior to her shattering, and she looked like the form we saw in Jungle Moon. But now I'm just rambling on, so let's continue. Another interesting feature about her design is her gem, as I just mentioned. Her gem is an actual cut of a real-life diamond, rather than just being diamond-shaped like the other two we have seen thus far in the series. The gem is also facing sideways, so we can see the full length of the gem. So this makes Pink Diamond extremely unique, unless of course White Diamond is also like this, but that has yet to be seen. However, when you change the viewing angle, something amazing happens. So here's the view of the gem that Pink Diamond's gem starts off on. And we're just going around a bit. And now let's change that, and now it looks like this. Okay, that's it. Theory confirmed. Okay, maybe not quite. But this is still really interesting, and there has to be some reasoning behind this design choice. Now normally, we could say that Rose Quartz gems do not look like this. As we saw in the LV All, while Rose Quartz gems do have a six-sided cut on the top, they don't have a point, which is called a pavilion. However, we have a tiny bit of reason to suspect that our Rose Quartz may be different from the rest. In some livestreams, we have seen members of the crew wear a t-shirt that has all the gemstones of the crystal gems. And all the gems are represented, even Rose Quartz. However, it does appear that her gem has a pavilion. Now since we know what Pink Diamond's gem looks like, 
I really wonder if that was intentional or not. Or it was something they planned on in the beginning, but they decided to change the Rose Quartz gem design later. But we haven't seen Steven's entire gem in the show itself, so there's no way to tell if it looks like this still, at this point. Going on with that, I've had many people point out that there is a gem in the burning room that looks a bit like pink diamonds. The possibility that she has bubbled there is certainly an exciting one. However, it is a bit more likely that the crew just put a bunch of random gems there with a variety of different cuts. Lastly is her size, which is extremely tiny for a diamond. She seems to only be a bit taller than Savani, as shown by the crack on the glass at the diamond base. Pink diamond is just vastly different than the other diamonds, and that raises some suspicion. So just what we saw of Pink Diamond in Jungle Moon, a lot of people are starting to once again think about this theory. But when I last made a theory video about this, we knew so much less about gems, and Rose Quartz was a pretty decent candidate. Mostly since she was pretty tall, had a pink gem that was in the shape of what a real-life diamond looked like, and was very mysterious. There's been a lot to contradict this claim since. Mostly since we know what yellow and blue diamond look like, and it is nothing like Rose Quartz. And Pink Diamond does look a lot like a diamond, disregarding her tiny size and strange gem shape. But there is something special about her. There has to be, whether it be her personality towards organic life or her power she has. She was told she was one of only four diamonds, the most powerful and revered of all gems. Yet she was treated like a child by those that were supposed to be her equals. And this series is one of the ways that people attempt to explain her differences. She may be another gem altogether, or was never truly a diamond, or perhaps even something else. It's possible that we saw Pink Diamond only because Steven is a Rose Quartz, as I have explained. Something interesting some people were pointing out was the fact that Pink Diamond kind of sounded like Amethyst. This may have been a coincidence. But I have noticed that for the most part, diamonds seem to make the gems in their image. Or well, they have some common things among them that correlate to their diamond. Besides color, there is the way that they dress, and oftentimes even the temperament of the diamond is reflected in the gems they create. For the clothing part, at least this was the case with Pink Diamond's gems before Era 2 began. And with that, it appears that Amethyst's hairstyle from when Rose first met Greg looks quite similar to Pink Diamond. Just wanted to throw that out there because there have been a few mentions of this. I love the little details the crew puts into the show. It makes the cartoon much more enjoyable because there's so much to find. But that wraps up pretty much all I have to talk about for this video. So after everything that I've said, do you still think this is the crack theory that is perpetuated by those that don't want to let this idea go? Or is this still a legitimate theory? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, I put links to posts I found interesting or to help create this video in the description below. And if you love the drawing of Pink Diamond in the thumbnail, I want to let you guys know that this was a commissioned piece from Kai Texel. The art is amazing and I encourage you to check out their Tumblr, which I'll have a link for down below once again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification button since I also have a few more theories planned for the upcoming weeks. Also, many thank you to all our patrons. If you want your name on this list as well as a shout out, please consider supporting Cartooners on Patreon. Have an animated day, everyone.